This now, a repairman from Rockland behind bars tonight after a bizarre attack on a customer. 38 year old Sean Warner returned to work yesterday and he told a co worker he killed someone. Tonight, we're learning new details about what led up to that attack. CBS 13's Marissa Perlman is live for us in Sacramento with the very latest. Marissa. Well, guys, the sign outside of this business, the overhead door company, says it all. We are not commenting on this pending investigation. Of course, this sign talking about the suspect, Sean Warner, tonight. We are told that he told a coworker at this business that he killed someone. And tonight, we're learning that coworker was the first person to contact police. I'm shocked to hear this in so many ways, yeah. Jeff Armstrong has known Sean Warner for five years. We told him his neighbor, a repairman, is accused of attacking a customer in Sacramento after they got into a fight. I'm sad and shocked yeah. to hear it. Yeah. I know the family's guy was working for a company. He went to a house in District 4. And there's a 96 subject there at the house. So he shot him. The sheriff's office first heard Warner had shot the victim, but when they arrived on scene, CBS 13 learned he used some sort of object as a weapon. The victim, an older man who lived in this house, is in serious condition. We still don't know much about the victim or why he was involved in this alleged attack or how he knew the suspect. What we do know is that he's lived here in this house alone for years. I'm sad and shocked yeah. to hear it. Armstrong says the last conversation he had with Warner four days ago was an odd one, but that was the first time anything seemed off about his longtime neighbor. I've always had just neighborly conversations with him and a uh, super nice guy. I see him out running and uh, he's got tables set up in his garage where he plays uh, card games with friends and family. Again, Warner is booked in the Sacramento County Jail tonight. We still don't know what motivated this attack. Again, that victim in serious condition this evening. We certainly hope he pulls through. Lots of questions here. Marissa, thanks so much.